Textiles, as, as textiles, you use dyed materials. You never expect what color it comes out from a dye. So to get your color, you have to use paint, you know. And then I start doing little, little cover threads with paint. And I discovered that this, for me, color now is important in, abstract, in an abstract way, painting. But I don't want to say that it's painting, you know. For example, what I am doing here, when I did with the brumas here, it's just like um, do a painting, but in, in space. You can um, paint the thread. You can paint the, um, the, the thread already woven. You can paint enormous ways of using the paint with the thread, you know. Um, for example, in the, um, in what I call alchemias or umbras, I prepare the material on raw, raw linen or cotton, and then I paint on the, on the, on the, on the woven lines. I prepare like um, different elements that I call them uh, like particulars, particulars. Uh, they are each one alive because the person that does the, the weaving in the, in, the, in the lines is always different. I mean, they always come with something different. Then after that is finished, for example, in those, I apply paper, Japanese paper, gesso, and I do like a little canvas, you know, and then apply the gold leaf, and then sometimes apply the paint. So it's four layers of working. And in each layer, something happens because each hand is different. In all, in everything that you do, they're always human ways. For me, that make a piece almost alive. When I put the names, it's more or less because I relate to what happened to, to, the, to the work, uh, when it's being worked, what it gives me. And for example, in the umbras, it's because I see the light, the light of the gold changes in so many forms. Depends how you use those ribbons. Then in paint, it's, the, it's pure color, you know. I cannot even explain to you the possibilities, it's just enormous. So there's always a control there, you know. I just don't want to experiment. I don't like experimentation for experimentation, you know. It's important to me to the back of every piece, because for me, a back is, is like another part of the piece another life, you have to see this structure to, to, to love it too. You know, I could sometimes put one of these pieces from the back and it's as beautiful as in the front. I like it. <laughs>